Hi, and welcome to my channel. You might have a speaker driver that you want to use on its own, similar to a full range driver, but sometimes it produces a sharp peak at a certain frequency, which makes the sound unbalanced. To fix that, you can use a bandstop filter to bring that peak down to a more normal level. Today, we'll focus on designing a bandstop filter using Filter Solution. First, Download the driver's measurement files and import them into Vitruix CAD. Next, find the frequency where the peak occurs. In this case, it's 12,170 Hz. Then, find the frequencies where the response drops by 3 decibels on either side of the peak. These are your F low and F high values and filter solution. The impedance at the peak frequency is 11.1 ohms. So enter that as well. Enter the difference between F high and F low. For this example, the bandwidth is about 1000 Hz. Everything is now set, and this is your bandstop filter. Keep in mind, the calculated inductance in this case is very low for an effective physical filter. The inductance should typically be greater than 100 microhenries. Make sure this box is checked. You can also add a resistor to control how much the filter reduces the peak. To adjust the resistor value, hold the ALT key and press the up or down arrow keys to fine tune it. All those small inductance values usually result in a weak filter. In this case, we reduced it to 70 microhenries to achieve a flatter response. But is it actually logical to use a low-pass filter, together with a bandstop filter in this situation? You'll notice that the peak still persists. That's because the bandstop filter creates a high impedance at that frequency, which affects the low-pass filter's performance. If you want to use a low-pass filter, it's better to use a high-order crossover and remove the bandstop filter altogether. This helps reduce the peak's effect more effectively. However, if you're using the driver alone without a tweeter, the bandstop filter is effective by itself. Thanks for watching.